are at the Beneficio, that's how you guys call it. So this is where you process all the coffee after you bring it from the harvest back to here. So can you walk me through some of those steps that the sure. coffee goes through after you sure. harvest it? Um, well, you will see um, it is received up here and it comes down and the machine depulps and selects the coffee. Okay. And then um, the most important part, I guess, it's the fermentation. Yeah. So in many places, they do a dry fermentation, which is great, but for us, we use um, a wet fermentation under water. Okay. We keep the coffee in water and it gets a slow fermentation and that works best for us. Okay. Because with a dry fermentation, sometimes the coffee's ready at two or three in the morning and we have had a lot of um, problems when the miller stays asleep so the coffee uh -oh. would get ruined. <laughs> so in water, yeah, so we don't have water. those problems. Okay. But it really um, has, um, oh, nice. it's used a lot in Kenya, in Africa. So, um, it's it's been a great it's been Solution great for, for us. You guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. so. And when you say depulp, so it comes in and it's actually in the form of a cherry, That's like a right. fruit. Uh -huh. And so when you say depulp, tell me more about that. Yes. The machine, you want to see it in a while. The we have a manual one when it's a little one. It's mm -hmm. right here, and it takes the skin off. Uh huh. Okay. The yeah. red skin off of oh, yeah. So then you're right. left with that seed, with which is seed. actually what the coffee is, and yeah. that is what gets fermented okay. with the the, the sugars that, yeah. that ferment there. And last time we were here, we talked with Minor, who was in charge of everything, yes. and he's just got like all of his notes for every single. He's looking at the smell, the humidity, right. the temperature, how much it's rained in the last few days. So it's a really detailed process. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. We try to keep a log on all of the, what happens because sometimes there's coffees that come out with special flavors so we can trace it back to see what, what it was. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Okay, thanks for sharing that. Mm -hmm.